Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be covering the popular stock that is ADP. And if you guys haven't heard of ADP, basically what they do is they provide cloud-based human capital management solutions worldwide. So this includes stuff like employer services, which offer strategic cloud-based platforms and human resources, uh, different solutions for like basically employers. So stuff including pay payroll, benefits administration, talent management, HR management, workforce management, insurance, retirement, compliance services, integrated HCM solutions, and so they basically offer package protection, compliance, talent engagement, a bunch of different stuff for employers. And they have one platform for it. And this company has been around for a while and it is automatic data processing. Pulling up this company on Qualtrum, we can see right now they're trading at a stock price of $239, right under that $240 mark with a current P of $29. Ford P of 32, a free cash flow yield of 3.7%, a dividend yield of 2%. And we're going to be analyzing this company because this is one I've actually been looking into. And if you're a dividend growth investor like me, you've probably been looking into this one as well. This company, if we just take a look at their current price, has ran up year to date. As we could see, it in the past six months, it was down, but it went up 12% right here and if we look at the past year you would have had four percent up past five years you would have been up 60 percent and past 10 years you would have been up 270 percent if we look at that all charts reaching new all-time highs consistently so we're going to look at their revenues if we look at their revenues annually we can see they've been growing revenues at about five six and more recently eight percent per year so solid solid revenue growth if we look at ebitda which is basically pure earnings we see even faster growth of about 10 percent per year and more recently doubling the s p with about 16 percent per year if we look at free cash flow growth i'm going to pull up all on the free cash flow we can see over the past 10 years they've grown their free cash flows by about 11 percent per year and i've discussed why i like stock based comp adjusted free cash flow per share we're going to look at their stock based comp it's a little bit significant not much about 220 million of their total free cash flow if we adjust it per share it's even better and if we adjust it for stock based comp and per share which is my best definition of pure free cash flow we get 13 percent growth rate per year so this company is growing its free cash flows effectively without diluting the shareholder if we look at their cash and debt positions over the last 10 years, it's not unmanageable. They have about most of their debt in cash, and they're producing way more cash flow. So this debt does not worry me at all. If we look at their dividends over the last, let's look over the last 10 years, we see solid growth in that dividend as well, growing at about 13% per year. So fast dividend growth you're getting with this company. You're getting dividends, and you're also getting share buybacks at about 1.5% per year. So already from the dividends, and from the share buybacks, you're getting about 3.5% capital return to you per year without price improvement. And with free cash flow, obviously the price is going to improve. And if we look at return on capital employed, it is very high, which is why I've been looking at this company. Over 50% return on capital employed is absolutely amazing. And if you look here, they've lowered their expenses to take out that GNA. Now they have zero. They only have 566 million in about total expenses. So this is why this company's probably ran up. And they've been growing the revenues and free cash flows faster than usual. But after doing that face analysis on Qualtrum, we're going to go into our stock valuation models and basically analyze this company, deeply analyze this company according to each model to figure out if this company is a buy right now, to figure out uh, what the intrinsic value of this company is and to see if we should be putting money into this company right now. We could plug in their ticker here. We plug in their earnings per share their projected growth rate on those earnings per share and the current yield on corporate bonds, which does drag this price down to $1.34 because of that current yield. The average yield is about three. So if we were to have that, obviously the intrinsic value would be a lot higher, but it is not three, it is 5.11. And obviously that brings the intrinsic value a lot down, representing a lot of downside on that current share price. Next, we're gonna to go to the dividend discount model where we have their dividends over the last five years growing at about 13% per year, like I said. We plug in a conservative 7% growth rate and get a DDM price of 267.5. Next, we're gonna to go to our discounted cash flow models. We put in the previous cash flows, they have an average growth rate of about 11%. So we put in a growth rate of about 10% to be a little conservative. Cash and cash equivalents, total debt, equity value divided by shares outstanding. And we got a DCF price of $254 a share, representing some upside on that current share price as well. Next, looking into the intrinsic value, I didn't do multiples valuation, obviously, uh, because I don't think they have many competitors that are the same type of company as them. And their intrinsic value comes out to $220 per share currently. So 
should wait on it, in my opinion. And if you want a 10% margin of safety, you're looking at right under $200. Me personally, I'm looking at this company under $210. I think this company is very good. I think uh, with the moat it has and the different things it has, you should pay a little bit of a premium for it. So I'm not looking for under $200. I'm actually looking for about $215 on this current share price. But I do think it's a little bit overpriced right now, although Wall Street has a forecast of $260. Thank you guys for watching that video. If you did enjoy, subscribe, like, turn on the bell, do all that good stuff. Join my Discord, follow my kick, follow my Twitter. I love you guys and I'm out, man.